Hey, what's up? This is Lon Naylor, and today I have a quick review of what I'm going to call my top video marketing tool of 2010. Yeah, it's called Easy Video Player version 2.0. This is a one-time software purchase of a program that you upload and install on your web host server. Actually, as many servers as you want to. So if you own lots of domains like me, you buy it once, use it forever. You do need a little bit of technical knowledge to do this, such as things like file transfers, creating a database, but I had zero problems. And there's inexpensive service to do that for you if you would rather. Or it's a no-brainer project for any install outsource person. You could probably even find one on Fiverr.com for, oh yeah, five bucks. But I'm not going to get into all the boring technical junk in this video. Today I'm going to hit on some of the highlights and cover my top reasons why I think this is a top tool. First, just go ahead and take a look at this page that you're on right now. Pretty nice, right? Well. I didn't create it. The Easy Video Player software did. And how it did that is one of the core reasons I really like this software. Let's take a look. I'm going to log into the software, which, again, runs on my server. And what I love about this is that it's clean, uncluttered. It's software elegance. It's intuitive, simple, and easy. Hence the very clever name, I guess. I can quickly see what I've configured the player to look like, any of the functions that I've chosen, and the software creates all the code. Copy, paste into a web page or blog post, and it just works. Customizing an excellent player with cool features for your videos is basically a matter of pointing and clicking. Flipping switches, and to create the page you're looking at, yeah, there's a switch for that. You can add titles or images above and below the player. There's full Facebook integration. This is huge. Just flip the switch. EVP creates the page gives you a link to it, and even shortens the URL for easy Twitter posting or email links. The videos are uploaded and run from my Amazon S3 account automatically for the cheapest and fastest video delivery around, and if the software did only these things, I'd be using it. But I've only touched on three of the features I really like. For the next one, I'll let you in on a little secret. Some of you, well, half of you to be exact, will be watching one version of this demo and the other half will be seeing another. This is called split testing and in marketing, it's kind of a big deal. That's because for any kind of sales message delivered by any means, like on a sales page, for example, the message will vary in its effectiveness based on little things like different headlines or even the color of those headlines, uh, bullet points versus text paragraphs, or a certain call to action or a different one, lots of stuff like that. And if we track and measure over time, one will always win out over the other in terms of convincing someone to do whatever it is you want them to do like fill in an opt-in form or buy something. Video content, especially if it's used for sales and marketing, is no different, and one version will almost certainly outperform an even slightly different version. Until now, split testing videos has been restricted to testing the pages that they're on, and not critical things like, mm, how long did someone watch this video? Very useful information. The EVP software will pit two videos against each other, head-to-head, -head, track what happens, and declare a winner. I'll be testing split testing much more in the near future, but this is a pretty exciting feature if you use videos for marketing. It's built in, and now it's simple to do. And the next four main features I was actually pretty much up in the air about in the beginning. 
In EVP, you can do an auto redirect to a URL when the video is finished. You can have elements like graphics or text appear in the video at certain times. You can have those elements be clickable. And you can embed Buy Now buttons directly in the video that will take a viewer to a payment page. Right. Well, I can do all those things in Camtasia with Flash hotspots and callouts. So my first thought was, don't think I really care about those. But then I considered this. For those features to work in Camtasia, I have to produce the video after I add them and at which point they're hard-coded into the video. Want to change a redirect URL or the duration of a callout? No problem, except you have to re-render the entire video and re-upload the entire video to wherever you're hosting it from. That can be pretty painful in terms of time and effort. The beauty of EVP for doing these things is that configuring them takes place in the server-based software. Make a quick and easy change or addition to any of the video player features or options, and it instantly takes effect for that video wherever it's embedded. That's because the video you're watching right now gets all of its configuration from the server. Make a change on the server, and how the video player looks and acts is replicated to this page, or to the video in a blog post, or on any other page I've embedded it on. Sweet! The next feature is a powerful one. You can embed opt-in forms right into your videos. Now, again, at first glance, I thought, this was kind of cool, but I mean, I can put an opt-in form on a page with a video. No big deal. Is this really useful? And I found out that, yeah, I think it really is for two reasons. Number one, putting the video in a blog post with the opt-in form right in the video means that I can be building a specific list without having to mess with any form code on the blog itself. Big time and frustration saver. The second thing is, if someone grabs the embed code for the video and puts it on their blog or web page, the opt-in form goes with it and requires zero extra effort from the person embedding it. Nice. And to finish up this short review, let me touch on the things I don't like about it. Uh, I'm actually having a really hard time with this one. I've noticed a couple little anomalies that I'm not sure I can attribute to anything other than the fact that I'm running beta software, like the Facebook share button in Internet Explorer is kind of messed up, or that when I go to the help section, there aren't any training tutorial videos there yet. The software seems solid in my testing. It never crashed on me. The results were consistent and expected. For me, it worked very well and as advertised. And that, coupled with a great one-time price, is why it's my video marketing tool this year. There are other features and tactics I'm still exploring and finding some interesting things about, so as an extra bonus for anyone who orders through my link below, I'm putting together a resource site that will go live in a couple of weeks where I'll document how I use it in real projects. We can share ideas and results, and in general, really kind of get into it and see what happens. So, I hope this was useful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you think this is a good fit for your video marketing efforts, you can click the Buy button that appears momentarily. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.